Yes, we're here, we're here, we're here. And we are wanting to be able to help assist you with your request from us today, which is to be able to connect you into the Ra Collective as they have requested this in a session from a client. And so we will continue with this, um, this connection because it is so important. And we would like to say to the vehicle, this is why she has got this pressing urge and this almost sense of frustration from them uh, to get this message delivered correctly out to all who are listening and to humanity to be able to have an opportunity to be able to have awareness of other people's agendas and to awaken to ego and greed. And we would like to connect in with the raw, the ra. They are raw in emotions because they are so frustrated. They have prepared many people, souls. They have prepared many beings to be here of service in this important time. And they have what you call given walk-ins to many people to give many opportunities to awaken many. And it is so frustrating for them to prepare these grand souls to be able to deliver pure integrity intentions and messages to empower others and yet they trip over so quickly with the ego and the sense of power that their skill sets deliver to them and this is happening time and time again and this is so frustrating because it's not a time to trip into ego or greed it is a time to be of service to humanity at this important time this is what you're all being trained for this is <sighs> making sense to the vehicle now why she has about our energies um, and we apologize for the pent-up frustration but as we see that she is diligently trying to be of service through many of her clients to be able to deliver the most appropriate information ready for humanity to hear to be able to expand upon and grow for her to know that there are other people with a different agenda that is disempowering humanity it weighs heavy on her heart and it is not her responsibility to help save people from those slippery stepping stones. But what we want to say to all now is that be careful of the wolf who is hidden in sheep's clothing. Because once you remove that soft exterior layer of sweetness, there is a evil, shall we say, lurking behind it. And that ego is their evil. The evil that we speak of is ego. Because when you use ego, it can be used for evil, for disempowerment, for entrapment of others, for coercion of others. This is not the time to play ego games. This is the time to be honest and have true connections and actually be able to do what you say you do. A few of you who are listening to this now are questioning, how do you know? How do you have discernment between who is telling the truth and who is not telling the truth? When there are so many people speaking in spiritual terms and looking the part and pretending to be the part, are they genuine or are they fake? Those people who claim that they have been attacked taken offline because of a dark agenda or because of other beings that want to limit their truth or connections. It's not often the case in true honesty. It is because they have misused, and misused their connections and their connectivities and they are tripping over ego so much we have taken them offline because they do not deserve to have this access because they're misusing it. They're misusing this information for self-serving purposes. And they do not know the difference between what their messages should or shouldn't be shared with. They are so excited to be able to have their skill sets that they overshare too much. And it actually impacts humanity in a negative way, not an empowering way. And so when you have all the access that you think you're entitled to and you do not have understanding of or respect of this information you can be quickly taken offline because your ego is tripping you up and you are not respecting the connections and so as quickly as you receive them they will be quickly removed from you 
And this has happened many times and this is frustrating for us in some regards because we had prepared so many amazing souls to be of prof profound true service and purpose to be able to help humanity. And when each being chooses to feed their ego over their desire to feed and empower humanity, it is taking a longer time for the humanity to awaken because they're only focusing on self. They're not focusing on helping and healing humanity and using their skill sets wisely. And so we want to be able to, with permission from all the collectives that are helping assist with this conversation today, to be able to expose those who have been fraudulent with their claims of spirituality and connections and may they be tripped up so profoundly that their followers suddenly notice and suddenly have a new awareness of what is going on may these now be stepping stones that they are feeling comfortable to step over and beyond and through with great love and security and confidence in your own connections with self. This would be the most easiest way to be able to have discernment between who is speaking the high integrity truth and who is speaking through ego. It is a subtle difference when you're confused and you do not have confidence in your own intuition and self. And so it is an independent journey you must take through to be able to find your way and ultimately, we would love for all of you to be able to find your way independently to empower yourselves. Because we have seen in your perceived history and time, not just on this planet, but many, that the manipulation and corruption of others have made such a negative impact. It just seems to be the repeat of lessons and cycles that people are not able to, or other beings are not able to notice and overcome. And it is becoming tiresome, shall we say, to see the same patterns being looped again and again and again, especially when we have worked so tirelessly and effortlessly to be able to empower so many beings coming down here through walk-ins to be able to empower others. And it's just becoming so frustrating that they more are tripping over themselves than empowering themselves and remembering. It's all choices. But when you get a sense that you are connected to something more divine, more special, and that you could be a leader and an influencer, often the respect of the connections aren't fully respected. And so there is less connections being made with us and it becomes more connections of ego being looped in and expressed and shared. And you can tell the difference, but many of you still see the pretty sheep and love the pretty sheep and want to have faith and trust in the pretty sheep. And we say to you again, behind that veneer of soft, wool is a wolf in sheep's clothing so we say to you and we have said this to you many times focusing on yourself and loving yourself and empowering yourself and empowering the people around you is the most significant thing you can do Having unconditional love for all is going to be the best way forward for you. It can't be any more simple than that. Do not make these things so complicated. Do not let other people make you feel insignificant with their knowledge of the ways of the world because ultimately the most important things of this world right now is your connections with yourself and the connections that you have with others in your life. Many of you still feel like you've got responsibilities that you must heal the world and save the world. And you cannot heal the world and you cannot save the world. It is an experience for each individual being and soul to be able to expand upon and grow and have the experiences of. It is noble for you to have that sincerity. And if you can just release the responsibilities of saving the whole world and loving the whole world, you actually will be able to do it more easily without putting so much pressure on yourself. Distractions 
quite a divisive tool right now for many of you. And we are saying keep your life simple. Open your heart, the most simplest things, and do not get distracted as much as you have been. Set aside those fears. Do not ignore them. And we have prompted um, that saying that the vehicle um, had a communication with one of her dear friends with about do not ignore feelings or situations, experiences. Do not ignore. Do not ignore. Do not ignore, except explore, explore it. If you are feeling frustrated, you can explore the feeling of being frustrated without the feelings of being frustrated. Once you notice the feeling of frustration, you can then question and explore why you feel that way. Honoring what you're feeling and noticing what you're feeling is going to empower you to be able to help understand the range of emotions that are set forward for you to be able to have experiences for growth upon. We would love for you to all imagine yourselves as your best friend and look at your behavior. Are you proud of your best friend? Are you embarrassed of your best friend? How do you perceive self? Would you recommend yourself to others? How do you perceive yourself as a very important thing to have? Would you recommend yourself to a vulnerable friend? Would you recommend yourself to an egotistical friend? How would you perceive matching up yourself to people in your life? When you step outside of yourself and independently mirror your actions, your behaviors and your demeanors and your agendas, and you look upon yourself with non-critical eyes, non-judgmental eyes, but just a fact of a balanced observation, observe who you are and see how you impact others. How does your demeanor impact others? How does your integrity impact others? Do you view yourself as a very loving, kind-hearted, upbeat person who sees every opportunity for empowerment and to have fun and explore and expand upon? Or do you still see future events and any experiences that are new as terrifying and scary and should have caution to? How are you perceiving this world? It is very important because what you perceive in this world is what you project out into this world. And this is why we would love you to be able to love all without having the responsibility to love all. The pressure. You have the capability of loving all. Do not have the responsibility that weighs you down to love and heal all. There is a difference. And so when you have an upbeat perspective of life, when your vibrations are so incredibly high, you don't often feel like you're even in the body. When you go with a smile on your face, which represents the smile that's on your heart, that is radiating out to the world, loving the world is effortless. It doesn't impact your body at all. It actually empowers you and uplifts your body in such a beautiful way. You know when you are in density because your body is hurting you more, you're not feeling as uplifted or as upbeat. And that is really a time for you to not ignore that. It is a time for you to explore that and ask yourself what is going on there and why. Nothing we have said to you today is anything new. We have been saying this to you for as long as we have been. <laughs> It's the same message because it's the universal message of loving all. Be the light. Guide people to the light of higher frequency vibrations through love. The best that you can uh, be able to manage and radiate out through your own inner work. So this is why we ask to hold a mirror to yourself. Imagine that you are a person that you know. And how can you see 
from removing yourself, removing your ego, removing your judgment, and be honestly critical of yourself through observation. Please be kind, but please also be honest. It's not a time for you to be shy, and it's not a time for you to brag and boast when you truly do not have much to brag and boast about if you're still using your ego to manipulate others. So be honest with yourselves. We already can see all. This is a time where we ask you to be able to be honest to yourself and others. If you are feeling frustrated, you can share that. But you can also share your findings of how you can be honest, observe it, do not ignore and explore it. Talk about it amongst yourself. Talk about it with people that are in your lives. Do you think by sharing your feelings and thoughts that you are becoming vulnerable? Do you judge yourself for having feelings? Is this the reason why you're not exploring it? And this is the reason why you are ignoring your feelings and emotions? It's not a time to be shy to yourself. It's not a time to be shy to others. You're allowed to have feelings. It is not against universal law. In fact, it is really a primary um, directive to having 3D lifetimes here on this planet Earth, the luxury of experiencing all the range of emotions. And so therefore, what do you choose? What is your preference and choice? Do you enjoy density and drama? Or do you enjoy love and upliftment and joy with that inner peace radiating out through you and beyond you? You're so glad to see that many of you who have true integrity and love and light in your heart and in your agenda to help humanity are finding each other at this important time because it does get draining to constantly support those who are addicted to density. This does give us joy. And so we ask for you all to please use your free will. Please connect in with us, talk to us. We are here to be of service and we always have been for those who have got true integrity, who are not going to be misusing this. We will give you many shots and opportunities to connect in with us. But if you're trying to misuse the quantum metaphysical realm and world, you will not get too far because this is why we have had so many delays on this important shift for this planet. We do not want you to be part of the problem. We want you to be part of the solution. And this is why we have given you all this information in the past to be able to empower yourselves, to be able to therefore empower others. And we have observed many who are holding on to this information and not sharing. And while that could be judged and seen as being selfish, we trust that when you make the choices to be able to expand upon your inner peace and expand upon your unlimited range of compassion and love to others, this will advance you quickly and you will feel it and notice it. When you are unbalanced, it will feel very heavy and draining. And you will notice that within your body and in your mindset. So we say to you, love yourselves. Love others with honesty and integrity to be having compassion for them and consideration for them. For upliftment for all. To have faith and trust in all is going to be well. Because all is well. But we are seeing many people who are here to be of great service, delaying through their lack of choices to empower themselves and others. And so we want to activate all of those once again and remind you all once again of your mission and your purpose here. Please recall your mission and purpose here. We're going to impress upon you all to have open hearts to us so we can give you more downloads and upgrades and encouragement and confirmation of the messages we've given to you today. And we appreciate this connection once again. <laughs>